We have mystery toys from Amazon. I thought this would be fun because deep down I was sad that as a child I never got stuff like this and it's really intriguing to me. So I thought I would buy every single mystery toy on Amazon Prime. It had to be Prime. We are in Canada so I don't know if everyone gets this stuff. But basically what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you how much something was. Then we're going to open it and tell you if it's worth it or not. Okay, so we're buying it for you. So you can find out, so you don't have to. Do you feel like we're the best people to give opinions seeing as we're both like in our late 20s? And I have a feeling most of the stuff is not targeted towards us. We know our toys. We were kids once. We know how things work. As promised, we watched more horror movies. If you didn't see our last video, we're basically watching all of the best horror movies from each year starting in 2000. So I'm gonna say best in finger quotes a little bit. Yeah, we haven't had the best luck, so we're gonna tell you. Well, supposedly the best horror movie that was on the list is not available in Canada. You can't even buy it. Not even a physical copy of it. It's called uh, Dog Soldiers. Dog I think. Soldiers, and it wasn't available anywhere, but apparently it's amazing. So if you've seen it, you know it's probably amazing. amazing. Okay, so. We watched The Mothman Prophecies, which came out in 2002. It was definitely more of a thriller because you never saw The Mothman, but that also made it more intriguing because I feel like when you never see the creature, it's creepier. But Ty gave it a five, I gave it a four, so it wasn't that great. I think it had potential. Eh. eh. Then we watched Below from 2002. It was like a war movie about a team that goes in their submarine. And are they the Germans or were they against the Germans? I don't even remember. That's how much I did. It was a US sub, but there right. was like some, you know, mystery to it. Was and it a good? ghost. It's supposed to be a haunted submarine. Ty gave it a three, I gave it a two. Then we watched Signs, which was a Stephen King novel made into a movie. It wasn't Stephen King? No, it was just an M. Night Shyamalan. I can't even pronounce his name. M. Night. Wait, it's M. Night. are you sure it wasn't a Stephen King novel that M. Night just made into a movie? I'm pretty sure it's not. It could be. I wasn't paying too much attention. Either way, it's about aliens that invade Earth. I gave it a four. I gave it a four. We agreed on that. Then we watched this movie called Dead End. It was from 2003. It has that old lady from um, Insidious in it. It was such a bizarre movie at first. Like the first 20 minutes, I was like, oh, this is terrible. And then you really get into it. And Tumnus is shaking our tripod. Sorry, buddy. Bring him here. He's under the table, crap. Bring me that boy. Anyway, it's definitely more of a horror comedy. I kind of liked it. I gave it a seven, I gave it a six. It was just goofy. Yeah, it's about this family. The there. whole thing was just ridiculous and like we would laugh. So that's why yeah. I got a good score. It was entertaining. It's this family that's on a, a road trip to um, see their family for Christmas Eve. And they end up on this endless road. Hence why it's called Dead End. Anyway, it's interesting. Then we watched Red Eye, which is about these two people who go on a flight and there's this whole thing that takes place, I won't spoil it. But Ty gave it a four, I gave it a six. The ending was kind of funny. They tried to make the bad guy seem menacing with the neck injury. Yeah. It just looked like he was wearing a scarf, because he was. And then lastly, we watched The Skeleton Key uh, with Kate Hudson. It's from 2005. It's about this, she, she cares for older people who are in hospice and she ends up going to this house that used to be a plantation, I believe. And uh, there's a lot of like voodoo, hoodoo stuff. I gave it a five, Ty gave it a four. Yeah, it was eh. Yeah, it was okay for me. I like Kate Hudson though. Anyway, there's so much more to the list. So next time we'll update you. All right, so. Here we go. We're gonna make this into two parts because we have a lot of toys we have to unbox here. So why don't we each choose one and then we'll see what we get to in this video. Well, I'm not sure if I should feel kind of embarrassed or not, but I'm just going by the shape of this. It is Barbie. Yeah. The packaging is giving me like old school Bionicle vibes. <laughs> For people who don't know, Bionicle was like the best Lego toys and they came in like cylinders like this and you can get like action figures that like attacked with axes and stuff like that. I don't know how I'm supposed to open it. Maybe Tumnus will tell me. Okay, so this is called the Barbie Color Reveal Chelsea Doll and it is 
$14.97 on Amazon Prime. Go it's, ahead, you have smaller fingers. It's pricey, but it's not too, too bad. So if I'm thinking correctly, I think you have to put her into water. Or is that a different Barbie I'm thinking it of? It looks like it because there's like water symbols all over it. So you chose the messiest one? Do we have to test it? Yeah, but I think it takes 24 hours, so we're gonna have to just put it in water and then maybe the next video we'll show you guys. Yeah, because it has little water things all over it. Okay, so you fill this up with water and then I think we'll just leave it overnight. So in the next video, you guys will see what happens. This is our doll. So she's white and pink. It looks like a toddler. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like Barbie. This is like Skipper. Is Skipper still a thing? Skipper was a thing back in when I was a kid. So do you want to go fill her up? I think he does. Do you want to put your spit in there? Do you want to lick her to reveal her? I feel like there's a lot of chemicals on that, so probably, probably not the best idea. Take the boy. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. All these other things say don't use water. Maybe we'll re we will reveal these things in the next video because I think there's supposed to be a mystery for when your doll is ready. So Ty, you chose the one thing we can't even look at today. Don't worry, we can't even look at it anymore now. Holy. She's a little creamy. It really is a mystery. People are gonna think we're doing science experiments. Tommy's just like pushing on the table. So I'm gonna choose this bean because it really intrigues me. I like how it feels like an actual giant bean. Like it's like rubbery and weird. Like, look at that. Like me. So let's see how much it was. How are you supposed to open this? Okay, so this is called Pea Pod Babies and this was $14.99. So what a surprise. There's a little baby waiting inside. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure this is where I came from. You came from that? Yeah, <laughs> I think. So yeah, I don't know how to open this. Do we have to ruin oh, it? There oh, you I go. see. I see it. So you cut off the plastic part. And then there's a place for the baby to emerge. So I guess this is one baby. Is there three babies? You might have to get this one. Perfect. it. All right, you wanna open that one? I really enjoy this part. I think this might be the best part. Actually, yeah, like you can keep this and just like, it's almost like a um, anxiety thing. So when you're feeling anxious, you just slap somebody with it? Yeah, slap them with the bean. So you get three little bean pods with this. It's like a kinder surprise. Oh my gosh, you get a little baby bean hat. You have the baby. I feel like his head's a little squished into his body. <laughs> his legs are twisted in weird ways. I don't think the bean birthing chamber was uh, very kind to his development. In the third one, you get a bottle, the diapers. Oh my gosh, Kate, we're gonna dress him and then we'll show you up close because I know we're kind of far away. Let's get him dressed. Little hat, little outfit. Oh my gosh, it comes with little shoes, little bean shoes. It shouldn't be this hard, bean. So he has little shoesies, soother. Can you see him? I feel like a beauty guru with, with a baby bean. I would say for $15, it's a little much. A little bit. I think this would be a good $10 price range. And this is worth about eight. <sighs> That's worth $30 actually. There we go, baby bean. Baby bean to the side. Don't worry, we're gonna give all of these toys away probably to our cousins or hey, someone. I'm gonna use some of these. Are you gonna keep them? Definitely, because I've right. been eyeing up this. Okay, Mr. Potato Head. I used to love Mr. Potato Head. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get into this. Hold on, I gotta tell the price before we expose it. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a Mr. Potato Head, at least his body looks like. It's kind of in the name. All right, this is only $3. Really? $3, which is pretty good. It kind of looks like a Happy Meal toy or something. Wait, do you have to use tools to get into it? Oh. There we go. Oh, you build it! Yeah, you build it. I feel like this is gonna be pretty good. So you get little hands. This is the face. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it has horns and everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can collect 12. 12 Mr. Potato Heads, but they're called tater tots. I love that. So it's pretty easy to assemble. It's pretty cute. It's a dinosaur potato head. It's so cute. It's okay. Got, it's got little feet. It's got a tail on the back. That's really cute. That is worth $3. Yeah, I'd For say sure. So. Cause you can collect like all of them for like not very much money. So. I'm keeping this. He's definitely it's keeping mine. that. 
No one else's. I want to choose. Let's do the mystery troll. So, uh, wow, you can collect a lot of them. I actually never saw these movies. I hope no one gets mad at me for that, but I've never seen the movie. This is $7.44. Not $15, but also not $3. Remember so. when trolls were just kind of just a normal thing that people would just collect? Ones from like the 70s. And they, they were kind of uh, creepy looking. Somebody steal your troll? That's quite the packaging difference. <laughs> um, That's a thing. Anticlimactic, for sure. A little bit. I remember when trolls were like that big. I just want- Or was I just to... really small? $3, $8. $3, $8. You're paying for the hair. Yeah, probably. A little bit expensive. I think this could have easily been like five dollars, four dollars. Um, this two? is like the stuff you get at, at the a, dollar store. Not oh even gosh. the dollar store. Do you know those like gumball machines that had like toys in them? Yeah. That would be like one of the things you got. Wow, that's really anticlimactic. We'll do one more. You're gonna do the one that's gonna take the longest. Squeezimals. It's the QB cube. Cubby cube. You sure it's not QB Cube? I think it's Cubby Cube. I think it's QB Cube. This one comes with four. Better get started. Come on, I'm trying to find it. This was $18. Oh, that's neat. Look this at this. This is the most expensive one yet. You can like flip it around and like twist it. That's actually interesting. Pretty good packages. So though. props on the box. Yeah. Why don't you take four and I'll take four? You can just play with the box all day long. What'd you do? She broke it. I'm giving you four and I'll have four. So I guess you just get little squishy things? Apparently. There's tape. There's nothing in it! There's a sticker! In this whole box there was a little sticker. Okay, I don't know how you're opening these. Oh! I found one. Ooh, it's actually really cute. They look like little hamster or like circle monsters. I don't know. Really... I got confetti. No. Yeah. Surely not. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, I got another one. There's one. These are really cute. I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it. I got, I got a sticker. I got the instructions. Is that all of them? I got a fish. That's really cute. These are really nice. See, like they're designed really well. I was expecting. Worse? <laughs> more. Actually. Oh, more? There's eight boxes. Mostly of nothing. I don't know why we need confetti. A sticker. I feel like this last box that we were opening was just to spite us because now we have a mess to clean up. Yeah. So you get four of these things. Is it worth $18? No. Come on. Look at this. I would say 10 at most. They give you paper shredder scrap, basically. Yeah. That's worth at least 15. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna open the next six in the next video. We have like Toy Story, How to Train Your Dragon, weird dolls I've never heard of, some Disney ones. So stay tuned for the next video. Let me know if you have any of this stuff and if you actually like it. I've never heard of half of them. So. Anyways, hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you in our next one. Bye. See you guys.